Okay, so at this point, I've allowed the SpectreViz to warm up for about, I think it's 85 seconds, and now what I'm ready to do is I'm going to place a blank cuvette in the device, which means the blank cuvette means that I have the cuvette filled with distilled water. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to also try to make sure we don't have any bubbles, and we're going to wipe down the sides of our cuvette, and now we're ready to put it in there. Alright, our cuvette, the ribs go, see how the ribs are not going through where the light is shining through, so we hit that, and we're going to go ahead and now hit finish calibration. So that's going to take just a couple of seconds to finish up. Alright, it's done, so we're going to hit OK. Alright, so at this point, where we're at right now, is we're at the point where it says full spectrum, which is where we want to be, because we want to make sure we have the optimum spectrum. So I'm going to lower this down just a little bit so maybe we're out of the glare. Alright, we're at full spectrum, so that's what we want to test for our solution. So, we're going to get our solution. And this is our full strength solution that we're using right here. We're going to rinse it a couple of times with our full strength solution, so that way that's the only thing we have in there, and it's also not diluted. All right, not that it's super important right now. Again, a quick wipe to make sure. And so we're going to put this in here, and at this point, it's going to be reading the full spectrum. I hit play right here, and that's where it will read the full spectrum. I don't think I got play hit. There we go. All right, here's our full spectrum being read. All right, we're going to go up where our peak Turn this just a little bit so maybe the glare's off of it. We're actually looking for our peak up at the highest here. Alright, right in there. That's what we're looking for, that peak right there. So this peak is, we're going from 380 to whatever to 950. So we're looking for right here, even though it's green, that's kind of what we're looking for. Alright, we can actually go right here too and see the table. And we're looking for the highest one so we can scroll down in our table. If we look, it's going to take us a few seconds. We're looking for where our absorbance is the greatest. Ooh, right in there. Right? 537 maybe? Yeah? So we're going to say 535 when we get back. So we'll hit stop. Okay? And we want to go back to our graphic. Okay? There we are. And so now at this point, we want to go to um, right up here again. All right? Now, again, we're still full spectrum. We don't want to be full spectrum anymore. We want to be at a certain sp specific one. So we're going to go right here. We're going to go events with entry. And so we've got to program in what events we have. So I have diluted to, all right, I've diluted to, I want numbers, 20 milliliters. Okay, so we're going to say done. We're going to... Ms. O'Connor, please contact the main office. All right, we've done 40 milliliters. Done. And we're also going to do 60. All right, so we have those to test there. All right. And we're going to average, we could average over 10, or we could just be like that. So we're going to say, okay, we want to discard our last one. All right. We've got our absorbance at 394, but that's actually not where we want it. We wanted it a little bit, um, we wanted it around, yeah, we'll stay at 391. Or 394. Okay, so we're ready for that. So now I'm going to dump this one out and I'm going to start with my lightest color one. And again, a couple of times of rinsing. All right, all I'm doing at this point, I know it's not on the camera, but all I'm doing is filling my cuvette a couple of times and dumping it out. Okay, now we're ready right here. We're ready to hit play. Okay. And what it's going to do is it's going to keep, um, we're going to say, yep, that's pretty stable. We'll hit keep there. And this is our one. And so it was, ooh, let's go back. It was around point oh two, I think. 
So we'll hit that. We got that. Our .040 is what it was. We need to edit that. Alright, there we go. Oh, well that will work too. We've got it right there. We're okay. Hit okay. Now let's do 40. Alright. Okay. Go back to this. We've got .40 or .040, so we're going to do our next one. Take this out. Do our little stronger one at 40. Again, rinse a couple of times. There we go. Put this back appropriately. Slide it down. Got a little, got a little on there. There we go. Okay, we got this in there. Ooh, 0 0.051. So it's going up a little bit, which is good. We're going to hit keep. So let's change this one to 0 0.040, and this one is 0 0.051, all right, okay, we've got one last one to do, we'll dump this out, all right, repeat the process one last time, okay. Hopefully this keeps going up. That's what it should be doing. Our absorbance should be going up. All right. 0 0.070 is the one we're going to keep. So we're going to say 0 0.070. And now if we look at our graph, our points are kind of in a line there. All right? Very nice. We might have to shrink our graph a little bit. But yeah. Okay. Awesome. That's how it's done. Great work.